Hi you guys, this is Maria and this is Joey. Joey. And so anyways, we're on our way to have a picnic in the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. And so it's just so pretty. Look how beautiful it is. Okay, because we're from Southern California and we don't have this type of greenery. And so we're used to a lot of like browns, right Joey? That's it. And so, but it's so pretty. We just went through like this tunnel of trees so pretty and so I think we're gonna stay till dark because something about the fireflies and so I think that would be cool I've only seen fireflies one other time I think one other time in Tennessee right Joey yeah. and maybe I saw them more than once but it's been several years since the first time I saw them i would never seen a firefly before that you guys only in the Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland yeah and we know those aren't real right they're Disney fireflies. There's the sign Kate's Cove Loop. I love this place, you guys. It inspired me so much when I wrote my novel, Butterfly Hollow. How would you describe this loop, Joey, Kate's Cove? How would you describe it? Uh, I don't know. How many miles is it? Did you uh, see the sign? I forget. I don't know. But anyways, there was some settlers here a long time ago, right? And yeah. so they built their town here, their township or whatever. And so it had like a church and their homes and different things like that. But eventually everybody moved away, right? Yep. And so some of the buildings are still up. And I remember one of the churches had like the little graveyard behind. And I did use that in Butterfly Hollow. And so, yeah, it's just such a neat place. So here are the girls and Joey. Joey's teaching them to skip stones across the water. How pretty it is. This is Kate's Cove. It's in the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. It's so beautiful up here. They have like a loop drive, kind of like the one in Monterey or Carmel, in Northern California. And so I remember going on that when I was a kid. And so it's so beautiful and the water is rushing pretty quickly. And so I'm getting bit by bugs too. So I may have to use some bug spray. But anyways, we're going to have a picnic now. And then when it starts to get dark, it closes here at eight o'clock, this picnic ground. We're going to drive through the Cades Cove Loop. And so hopefully we'll be able to see some wildlife. And as it begins to get dark, as we're going through the loop, hopefully we'll see some lightning bugs. I can hardly wait, you guys. And it is so gorgeous. Look at this water. Joey's walking over to my right. See if I can get him in the picture. There he is. He's right back there. Okay, so we're going to go enjoy our picnic, and I'll be right back, you guys. It is just so gorgeous here. Look at the tree trunks here and all the roots and the moss. This reminds me of where fairies might live. It's so cool. I get so excited about this stuff. Don't you, Joey? Uh -huh. <laughs> so this begins our auto tour of Cade's Cove. It's a scenic tour. Turkeys. So beautiful. There's turkeys out there. Yep. I see horses. Where are the turkeys? Right there. Okay, I don't see turkeys. That'll break you up, honey. Okay. Right. It's okay, honey. <laughs> Joey's opening the door. I can't see. How do you see them? Oh, there's the turkeys, you guys. There they are. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's a really narrow road. We just had a really delicious dinner. It was just so filling and so it tasted so good. Just food just tastes really good at picnics. I had totally forgotten that it's this one way road, which is really nice. So then you don't have to worry about oncoming traffic. I know there's a whole herd of horses over there. Oh, there they are. Yeah. you guys this is just so pretty out here look at the other horses okay can you get up there daddy you're beyond can you give me them so he won't leave 
Hello, Kai. Hello. Okay, I'm trying to pet the horse, you guys. Okay, goodbye, horses. That was fun, you guys. Mm -hmm. Then they were just eating the grass. You can see there's tall grass. I remember, Joey, some of the buildings we stopped and we walked back in, right? We hiked in. I think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it says John Oliver Cabin. So you could park here, and then it looks like you could probably walk in like three miles, I think it said. Yeah. Was it three miles? Yeah. So it's somewhere back there, you guys. And I know we did that. We stopped quite a bit the first time, especially, I think. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine living here during the 1800s? No. I know, there would be like no Starbucks. No Starbucks. <laughs> no Starbucks. And worst of all? What? No 99 cents. I know, no 99 cent store. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't think I would have fared well in the 1800s. And when we did go to the 99, we'd have to load up the wagon, right? That's it. Just like in Little House on the Prairie. And so this is the church I'm pretty sure that I used in a Halloween scene in the climax of my novel Butterfly Hollow. So let's go ahead and check it out, you guys. And we're going to go in the back. So you can see the cemetery in the back. And so a lot of these churches had small cemeteries and so graveyards. And so let's go ahead over here. We're gonna go inside this little church. Joey already went in ahead of me. I was being really careful walking because it's really gravelly. I can see all the pews here, the shadows. Yeah, it does look like they're working on it. Maybe they still have services here. Maybe on special occasions or something. So quiet, beautiful. Come up here on the pulpit and look out these windows. And from this window, you can see the graveyard. So that was the Missionary Baptist Church founded in 1839. As the sun begins to set, we're hearing more bugs, right Joey? Like the sounds of insects oh, yeah. and birds, like more uh, a louder squawking. Oh, I see a lot of people pulled over here, so it looks like they're looking at something. See all the cars here, you guys. It's really hard to see, but there is a bear out there. And if you could see the dry grass looks straight ahead and he's walking. Let me see if I could zoom in a little bit. We've been staring here for a long time because someone saw him and you can't really see him now. He's sort of hidden by the grass. Yeah, he's just, I see him moving. He yeah, almost from here. Of course, it's a long distance and um, it kind of looks like a cat out there. It kind of reminds me of a cat. He's walking along, minding his business. Let me go ahead and show you this beautiful, gorgeous panoramic view. It's just so pretty. And let me see if I can see the bear again. There he is, there he is. Just wandering along, just minding his own business. There's a deer, you guys. He was probably there the whole time, probably napping. He just popped up right out of the grass. Look at that. Looks like he's missing one of his antlers. 
Oh yeah, there's two more deers. You can't see them probably really clearly. Right over there to the left. There's two. Oh, there's a third one. I, oh, I think there's four. Oh, and they're looking out this way. This one is very close, you guys. It was funny. We've all been standing here waiting for the bear, and this little guy just popped right up out of the grass. So we're still waiting on those fireflies. It's getting darker, but look at all of these tadpoles. There are just hundreds of them in this big puddle. And then there's also this animal print right here. What do you think that is, Joey? What do you think uh, that is? Yeti. A Yeti? A Yeti. I don't think it's a Yeti, Joey, but look at those claws. I wouldn't uh -huh. want to run into that. Uh -huh. But it is getting darker, you guys. You can see the sun is setting. It's about a quarter to nine, right, Joey? Yep. And like I mentioned before, you guys, in Southern California, it is not light at this time yet in summer. And so, but we can see those look like fireflies flying around right now, Joey, right? Yeah. But they're, it's just not dark enough for them to light up. Yeah. So let's go over this way yep. into the woods. First one lit up. Oh, where? Where? Joey saw one light up. Yeah, there you go. They're lighting up over there. Oh, okay, because it's darker in here. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go into the woods here, you guys. Okay, Joey saw them light up. I haven't seen them light up yet, Joey. Yeah, I mean, they're right here. Just Where? Look on the, stay in this area right here. Okay. Got a pretty good sized spider over there. Oh, there's a big spider? Yeah, okay. Oh, no, thank you. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not into spideys. Yeah. And so, yeah, let's not go over where the spider is because, you know what? There are spiders in the trees, you guys. Don't Isn't there? And they fall out of the trees. That's it. And then they suck the blood out of you. Oh, stop. That's vampires, Joey, <laughs> not spiders. <laughs> spiders just scare you to death. Yeah. Okay, I don't see anything yet. Oh, wait, I did see one over there, you guys, to my right. Yeah. It looked like just, you know, like a little light. Yeah. Like someone lit a, uh, like a little thingy. Cigarette light? Yeah. It was just a, oh, there it is. I see more, you guys. Starting to see them. I'm gonna stay over here. I don't wanna go where there's any spiders. Okay, so the fireflies are starting to show up more, you guys. I think you can see them now. Yeah, they're really lighting up. And also, you guys, I'm glad I didn't walk back into the woods towards the creek where everyone else was going because I was afraid of the spider. Because my son and his wife ran into two bears that were pretty close and also a snake that they thought looked like a copper snake. Okay, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and end this video. So, Joey, did you have a really good day today? Oh, yeah. It was really nice. And so it's really dark here. My camera's not picking up too much. There are still some fireflies, but I think I caught a few more right before it got really dark. And so, yeah, they're just coming right out of the tall grass. And so, but my camera doesn't seem to be picking them up. And they're all over the place. But there's not like hundreds that I could see like I thought I was going to see. But anyways, you guys, thanks so much for coming along with us. We had a really nice day here in the Smoky Mountains at Cades Cove. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.